Hello and welcome back to Stubble Debbie, and this is episode 115 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. And today we're going to get into the second half of our mycelial network. So let's go have a look. Um, I did set up the snowballs. Um, let's see. I put over here on the little blast chiller. Uh, I got the ball cast, and it's making snowballs. Um, I have it controlled with. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's ignoring it here, but it is controlling it, uh, the importer. It won't import items if uh, there's over 3,000 snowballs, so we must have reached 3,000 already. It's really fast. That blast chiller is super fast with all the upgrades. So let's look. Yep, we got 3,000 snowballs. So, um... I wonder, wonder, can it, can we do snow blocks? That is snow. That would be interesting to know. So let's have a look. I just want to know. in there? Oh, it does. It does work. Oh, well, we already have uh, snow set up. Um, oh, it's very cold over there. A pink mycelial generator is what we want to do for now. Um, I'm assuming it wants pink dye. Um, pink? We have a pink dye and no way to make it. Uh, so is that what it needs? It is pink dye. Um, oh, I wonder what would be easier if I just had like a, a beetroot farm um, that would produce red. We already have bone meal. That's the white that makes pink. We should just be able to take those two. Uh, so we got 40,000 bone meal. Uh, I don't have any beetroot seeds uh, planted currently. The only beet we have is in a chest upstairs and it's not that much hmm. I wonder if it can be flowers a pink flower will a pink flower work because we could or pink petal I wonder Mystical pink petal work. Um, I don't believe I have any petals at all in here. Um, just I'm just curious because it would be a lot easier to duplicate a pink petal than it would be to do deep roots, maybe. I don't have any from there, but I do. I just need a little bit to test it out. And just make it into petals. I wonder if it doesn't take the pink petals, will it take the um, mushed up version of it? The pink. Uh, where is it? Here, pink and 
Maybe it just matches it into pink dye. I thought Britannia had its own, its own thing. Do we have a bowl? We don't have the little um, mortar and pestle, so I'd like to know that too. Um, I need to get a network out here. So if we can't do the petals in there, we can turn them, the petals, directly into pink dye. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, uh, let's go see. First, I want to try uh, the pink petal and see if it gives a different value. If it does take it, then... Does take it. It's 135. Okay, it looks like it's the same. So why break it down into dye if it'll just take petals? Interesting. That could be uh, very advantageous. I just gotta figure out. I know you can. Um, you can use a dispenser with bone meal onto the little petal on the ground. Use a dispenser to use shears. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I think it would probably be, honestly, be easier to just get dye seeds um, to go to that because there really is no automation involved in that. And we do happen to have dye seeds. Um, so, yeah, let's get, um, I'm trying to think, where can I put this to, maybe I'll put both of them, both of them go into our botany garden, I think we've got some empty spots. Still, like four, maybe. Yeah. Um, up here. Two. Oh, yeah, we've got four slots left. Okay. Um, but we need farmland. All right, we're going to use our. Premium. How's our premium coming along anyway? 145. Not a whole lot. Oh man. The supremium is hard. It's very hard. seeds right off the bat. I don't think I have networks set up in here, no. Control G, um, seeds, uh, actually let's look under dye. No, no seeds yet. We didn't luck out. Oh look, we already have red and white dye right there, but... Um, let's get Essence. Where's our dye Essence? It 
should have gotten some by now. Okay, let's just look at dye. Um, I'm, I don't know what it's called. Everything's moving around so much. I can't, can't focus on anything. Uh, I'm looking for a color, and I just don't know. I've got all these essences that I have nothing. <laughs> Well, I really don't see it anywhere. Oh, is this it? No, that's squid essence. alphabetical order they should be after you know the dragon egg but there's nothing um, um, let's go look now it should oh it didn't it didn't actually do anything why not? Um, <gasps> are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't set these up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, how can I get... Aha! section that's what it was it just been shooting everything in here holy cow and this is where having a, a faster pipe network would come in handy and all of these are completely 100% full got some in the network now. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Uh, got that sorted out. All right, and we need to teach it. Okay, we have essence now. Dye essence. Okay, uh, what is pink? to import the die with oh we need a crafter there we go um, which 
you in there and put you right there. Only work with the redstone signal. I didn't send any dye in there, which has me worried. Did not have. It's only got two dye essence. So it can't make it yet. All right, let's fix that real quick. Um, do we have any extra seeds yet? No. Let's <laughs> just max it out. This chest might be full. Is it filling up? No, it's coming out. But we should have some more in there now. Hopefully. Die. Yes, okay. Now we have some to work with just to get it going. Also, I went ahead and put plugs on all of these because they don't run if they're full of power. Uh, so we want it to keep it drained. Oh look, it already filled it up. Okay. Okay, only work with the redstone signal. Cool. It already made a whole stack. Nice. Um, Alright, that one's done. Now we need the slimy mycelial generator. This is the one I think takes milk. And look, it's white. See, that's why I think this uh, thing over here is going to take a brown liquid because it seems to correlate to the color of the object. You know, it's like green and stuff. Uh, gives you a hint, I guess, of what you should put in there. Uh, so it's white. I'm assuming that means it needs milk. And we also need another exporter over here. Which I'm not sure if it can do both um, items and fluids at the same time. I don't think it can. I'm not 100% certain about that though. I wouldn't bet my life on it. <laughs> um, get you, and then, oh, I need you to connect to, um, and then, uh, get milk, milk, and we should have it won't let me drag it oh oh because it's not fluids okay I got it so now that should start pumping in and pull. it's not accepting Turn it off, get some in there. Work with the rest of the signal. Okay, it's got a few in there and it's not doing anything. Uh, 
I would have thought for sure it would it was milk. Okay, this is something we're gonna have to look into for the liquids. Uh, for the two so far that takes it, I just don't know what it is, so I'll have to look. Uh, the potion one, we need to set up machine for. Um, let's put that off for, I think we could just, it's got a picture of a steak. Let's try putting steak in there. Um, because we already have that automated. Uh, boop. Okay. Get a couple in there. Turn it off. Yes. Okay, it will take steak. And it burns for quite a while, too. Check it out. Uh, over a minute. Nice. Um, okay, that one was easy. Um, this, I think we can just put like coal in there or something. Let's try it. Uh, only work with redstone. Coal. few in there and it's burning okay that's all we need got plenty of coal oh this is the disenchantment one and we have the machines to enchant items so we could pretty much um, use our experience to make the enchantments and then disenchant it we might need an import bus for this? I'm not 100% certain, but we do. Do we have any books? Yeah. Let's use this knockback one. What does it do if I put it in there? It get, does give the book back. Okay, so we do need an import bus to pull those out. Not an import bus, an importer. A boop. That's kind of what I was thinking uh, it would be. So did you just automatically pull out? Yeah, you did. Awesome. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit tougher uh, as, to set up. So we'll save that for with uh, doing the potion setup because those are both um, industrial foregoing machines anyway and a death mycelial generator I think this might want wither skeleton skulls possibly which we only have two but once it goes down it will turn on turn it on automatically uh, so, put you there. Okay, it's one of those. And yes, that uh, is annoying, <laughs> but it works. Okay, and then the halitosis. Okay, this one's going to take uh, some preparation too, but I read about this that you can automate this with. A dispenser and some bottles it will in the end it will gather in air I believe um, and Ender air model? Is it the Ender air model? Do I have any of those? I believe they might be in the other system. Woo! Floating. Uh, so end. 
Yes, Ender Air bottles. I'm not sure if that's... Or is that Dragon's Breath? That's what it looks like, Dragon's Breath. Oh, but you can craft it from air and dragon seed essence. Okay, we can do that. Okay, it's different than what I thought it was, but we can still do it. We just need air essence, I believe. I don't think we have any air seeds. Glom ratio. Okay. Um, let's go. Air. Um, use. We need Ethereum essence. Oh, it's a tier one. I need, I need to be faster. Um, it's, <laughs> I can't get him. Oh, okay, that's frustrating. Um, where are you at? Here? Okay, there. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, that's a bad side of doing it that way. Oh look, we got, no, that's coral seeds. I thought it was the dye seeds. Um, where are you seeds? Gas seeds. I've got so many more seeds now, I don't know where. going in the uh, barge. We got room. There we go. Give it a little juice. <laughs> I love watching it go crazy. Okay. We got air and we have dragon essence. So uh, the only problem is if we need it, uh, a lot of it, we might not have the stores for it just yet. Um, so, we need a dragon, dragon's breath. Okay, and we already, we shouldn't have to need anything, so we should have some air in there, yep, and we should have some dragon eggs in there, since, yes, nice. Oh, and we have some dragon's breath already, uh, because we needed those for our sword, 
um, and stuff. So we should be able to put this guy over here. And definitely for sure we don't want this thing running. Um, Did it get one in? No. There. Okay, it's got some in. It does work. Oh, it's still going in. Okay, there we go. Oh, that lasts a long time, but it's only 40 at the tick. Uh, so cool. Cool, cool. Uh, we got a couple that we need to set up um, auto crafting for, like the uh, disenchantment and the potion generator. Um, I guess we could just do, because uh, all we wanted to do was to run 100%, so we could just. I just don't know the difference in the potions. If it, if it tells you, um, like it creates, if it's different for the different types of potions, like if a longer one might burn longer, I don't know. A faster one, uh, like a rank two, might give you 80 FE a tick instead of 40 FE. That's, I just don't know. So I was thinking maybe a swiftness potion because we have lots of sugar um, and that would be easy to do, ah, but I don't have a lot of nether wart, so I may need to uh, figure that out, nether wart. Can make it, uh, but let me see. Let me see. How much nether wart do I have in here? Oh, I got 1.8k. We got we got plenty then. Nice. Okay, we we're getting some from sluicing. It's just not a whole whole lot. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with, at this point. Okay, so we need one of the machines. I'm pretty sure I have not made it yet. The, um, heck, I don't even know what it's called. It might, we might be able to find out in the industrial foregoing if they have one over here in the theater. Hey, I made a hydroponic bed. Why didn't they um, show, show up for me? Okay, so it's not over here. It's not over here. Or did I make it already? at just real I believe it'll be down in this area champ sorter here's all the my my sea wheel stuff stasis chamber champ sorter infinity charger champ factory Ooh, that, that would be cool. Um, pump detector, washing, block breaker, green fissure fluid placer, block placer, resource with burns or laser face, potion brewer. Up there. 
potion brewer is what we want. We can control click to make most of the items needed. Uh, we just need a brewing stand, I think. And then, bada bing, bada boom. We just need to set this guy up somewhere. Um, hmm. I don't really know how much room this will take up. I've never actually played with this before. Oh, we might need, we might need some room. This looks complicated. Um, we definitely have room on level four. It's just really noisy. Okay, so we can come over here. It's less noisy. Um, need a point. All right, let's just set a point down here. Uh, set it up. Um, we're gonna cool it off with the reactor and put you right on top. Are you connected? Sweet! Alright, we have power. Um, see how it goes with the redstone mode ignored. We can always control it by not putting items in there. If that makes sense. We need to have uh, blaze powder put in there. We need to have bottles put in there. We need to have water put in there. Okay, so that's like three different sides. And then we have to put in the ingredients. Oh. Uh, which won't be that long. It'll just be like nether wart and sugar. Oh, nether wart and sugar. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff uh, to put on there. So we need, let's just do it one at a time. Uh, next border. Uh, I think let's just get a few of those because uh, oh and we're gonna need an importer because we gotta pull the stuff out um, so there <laughs> uh, hopefully this is enough sides um Actually, we might be able to put like the um, the blaze powder and the bottles on the same one. Oh no, I did that. I meant to put it right next to it. Okay. Um, we need to also get some cables over here. Let's just come around the back. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so we need to tell the purple to not to be disabled from the left. Okay, now it's going into the right areas.
Okay, and we want to tell it, like on the orange, to definitely pull from that. And then we can uh, go ahead and disable all the other slots so it doesn't accidentally uh, get the wrong things in there, which we don't want. Okay, so that's that. We also need an input for water. I'm curious, if I have that, can I also put water on here? Will it, will it do the, all of them at once? It doesn't look like it's doing the water. Um, oh, but we did, oh, that's, this one. Um, no, it does not look like it's uh, doing the thing. So let's go ahead and take it off of there. Awesome. Okay, so we'll get another exporter over here. We'll take it from the back. Make this one the fluid and get the water in there. How's that now? Yes. Okay, so now it's got water bottles. Locks brewing input. Oh, that would be nice. Um, if we just tell it netherboard. Uh, we want it to run with the redstone signal so we could set it up to like, uh, we also need another exporter for this area. And we'll have to tell it right is where we want to pull the items from. And we want to not pull items from anywhere else. And when we import, I don't want to pull out the water bottles either. Uh, so I guess we don't need this last exporter, but we need this importer. Um, but we don't want to pull like empty water bottles. So we'll blacklist water bottles. And it isn't like the mundane potion. Let's do mundane. This is blacklist the mundane potion as well. And it will that will only leave the swiftness potion. Bizarre. Um, so now we need to get another wart. And a sugar. coming in. Nice. And I wonder if I sh would be better off having the importer on the side and putting a crafter on the top so I can tell it to make that potion. But I just want this for the swiftness potion. So, uh, I think it'll be okay. Well, I already have my cables. I just need to hook you up. And then, um, I 
guess ignored. Okay, so now it's starting. It should yeah, there it goes. Nope. Water. Awkward. Oh, it's awkward potion. Okay, let's stop it. Run with redstone signal. Um, <laughs> we need an awkward potion on the importer. Not mundane. Awkward. Awkward potion. Okay. Ignored. Alright, what does it do now? Does it do what I want it to do? Awkward. Swiftness. Sweet. Um... We might want to, uh-oh, I didn't want to do that. Like, um, have a cutoff. Run with the redstone signal, okay? And then put, um, a detector. A boop. to detect the swiftness potion. Swiftness. Swiftness. I think it's just the regular. Oh, it's three minutes. I think that's extended. And that's two. So we want this one, right? Um, say if there's like a thousand. If there's under a thousand. Emit a signal. Okay, and then we just need to put one bit of cable there. And now it should go until it reaches a thousand. If it uses some, it'll make more. Um, and we can uh, put some upgrades in here. Let me kind of like clean up my inventory a little. We put you in here. So this should just work with our potions. Uh, I'm happy with that. Um, let's see about getting some add-ons. A boop. A boop. And a boop. Is it just making it slow enough that I can actually see that one in the left? Or this one's going so fast, yeah. It's just like taking it out almost instantly. Okay, we'll move it in, I think. Um, <laughs> awesome, so we got that one done. That one wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, okay. Now we need the enchantment stuff. I think 
I still have some of this set up down here. Yes. What are you? You're the milker. You're the enchantment extractor. And you're the enchantment factory. run this thing. Um, so I'm, sh I'm just not sure how to go about setting it up to automate it. Uh, I guess I could do um, didn't do anything. Maybe it has to be only one. What does this do? Okay, that one worked. Okay, it has to be it has to be only one. Okay, so there's another step over there that you could do. Where you could use this guy to pull um, all the different enchantments off. So let's get like this one. You would want to separate. Oh, we need a book to put the other the other enchantment on there. And then it extracts. Oh. I thought it would Why does it need um does it need another book? Okay, that doesn't make sense, but okay. 
but now we have two different ones, which is cool. Uh, but those should be eatable now. Edible. Edible. Um, a potion took up a lot longer time than I thought it would. And this is going to be a whole nother <laughs> hullabaloo to get this going. So um, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. And I will play around with this some more and see what I can come up with to get it. Um, automated and I think there's like an enchantment sorter we should be able to differentiate the books from one enchantment on it and then send it to the reactor or the generator and if it has more than one we can send it to the disenchant or the what is this guy called um, the enchantment extractor. We might want to look at this enchantment factory. Um, do I have do I have factory? Um, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and look in our other system as well. Just to make sure. Oh, and we have some more books over here. Swell, they're hiding. Uh, that'll make good food, right? Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna work on this some more. We're getting closer. I have, um, we gotta set up this enchantment and that means that most of the stuff is set up most of it is set up and then uh, like we've got this figured out uh, we've got this figured out uh, we still got to work on this um, got this figured out this one um, got this one figured out oh we need to tell it to export swiftness potions Swift. Look at that, still making potions. Okay, we just boop, boop you, let it get a little bit in there, or at least one. Yeah, oh, we're gonna need an importer to get the bottle out. Okay, see, that's good to know as well. Do I need to tell this to only take out the jar so it doesn't um, automatically pull? one done. Uh, this one we still have to figure out. This one we've got done. Um, this one we got done. This one we got done. Uh, this one we got done. This one. Uh, this one we got to figure out. So we got two liquid ones. That one's done. That one's done. And that one's done. We got two to figure out. 
uh, which liquids they are. So the metallurgic generator we need to find out what liquids go on there so let me let me write this down so I'll remember slimy slimy mycelial generator and the metallurgic mycelial generator metallurgic all right I will look those up Hopefully I can find something on them somewhere that tells me what liquid it requires. <laughs> okay, um, so yes, we're almost done with this project and hopefully we'll get lots of power out of it. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below how you, if you've done this kind of setup before and how it turned out for you. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.